Hey there, welcome to another video and today we're making this modern DIY coffee table for the outside. So it's an outdoor coffee table. Now I use the same wood for every piece in this build so that you can do it too. You can use 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x8s, 2x10s, well maybe not that big, but you get the point. You can use basically whatever wood you want and I use 2x6s just because I have some left over from my deck build. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the very few tools that we need, let's jump into the dimensions of this build. The table legs will be 16 inches and 18 inches with the top and 20 inches across. Now the table top will be 46 inches long with braces that are 34 inches. The tools you will need are an impact drill or just a drill, a circle saw, a tape measure, some outdoor screws, a triangle, and some eye protection. Like I mentioned before, I'm using 2x6 pressure treated wood that I got from Home Depot. And pressure treated is a great option if you want it to be outdoors and not really do anything with it. I've had my deck for almost a year and the quality of it is still great. I haven't stained it and it's withstand all the rain and stuff like that. I'm starting off cutting the legs to the table. And so I'll cut four legs that will be the vertical parts and then four that will be horizontal. The easiest way to make these cuts is to measure, mark a line, and then use your triangle to mark it fully. And then grab your circle saw and then use the triangle again to put the circle saw beside the guard and then just cut straight. This will give you a perfect cut every time. I'm using these Deck Make Outdoor Black screws for screwing everything in. Now, I would suggest using something about three inches if you're using two inches of wood or one and a half inch like this. Just make sure you get enough screw to tighten it up. For each of the connection points, I'm using two screws and I simply just put the screw on the wood and then use the impact drill to drill it in. Now I'm going to flip over what I already have, slide the next one under, and then do the exact same thing with this one. And there you have a box. So I'll do the same thing and make another one. And now it's time to install the braces. This will give the top extra durability and so that the table just won't fall apart if you press down on it or if you choose to use it like a bench and sit on it. I wanted to put these two braces at the exact same point on the legs and so that there would be an even coverage. So I just marked 5 inches and then 15 inches and then I lined up the braces with the center of that mark. And then I'm using a simple connection method here where I'm just taking the screw and screwing it in and at a diagonal. If you did have a pocket jig like a Craig jig, use that. It comes out much cleaner. One thing you will want to make sure is that your braces are even with the top of the legs. If they're propped up higher than the legs, then the top will not sit flat. All right, it's, it's way dirty. Dirty from just sitting back there from this deck build, which by the way, if you haven't watched, go check out my deck build. It'll save you a ton of money and you can do it in a day. And so now we got the table top, which is gonna be done with the same exact wood. Let's cut it. The top is gonna be cut to 46 inches and I'm using four pieces. And so the total width of the top is more than 20 inches, which is the width of our legs. So there will be about an inch that hangs over the legs to give it a little bit more character. One thing to note when putting these boards in is that there should be a smiley. There you go. You see those rounds? It should be a frown and then you put the frown. It should be frowning whenever it's on top. So I would put it down like this on top and then screw it in. The key to installing the top is to make sure that there's even spacing between each of the four boards. Now, I didn't use a spacer, but you should use one. You could just cut a piece of plywood that's a half an inch or three fourths inch, whatever you need, put it in between the woods and then screw it down. To make sure mine is perfect, I lined the outside pieces and drilled those in one screw at a time and then went to the other side and did it one screw at a time. I did the middle the same way, doing one screw, one screw, one screw, and then finish it off with another screw to make sure everything was even and perfect. 
After you screw everything in, that is basically it. If you wanted to stain it, you could, but I'm choosing not to because it is pressure treated and I'm curious to see how it will do in the sun and the rain. And with that, let's see the final product. Well, that does finish up this build. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you try it. Let me know. You can shout me out on Instagram. UMDIY, I'll put it in the bio. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a subscribe if you want to catch more builds like this and other DIY home renovations like bathroom renovations and stuff that you should build this year. But if you are curious in building a deck, check out the link and I will see y'all over there. See you later.